So having an entrepreneurship center on campus is almost a must have for every university at this point. The e-center opened up in January of 2016. In that very first semester, we had about 1,100 students who interacted in activities here. By the fall semester, that jumped to 3,000. So we really, on a very rapid basis, and a startup basis, uh, we started to really have an impact with students overall. Peter Paul was amazingly generous to give us the initial funding to kick this off for three years. Everything we do is 100% reliant on funding that comes from alumni, from parents, from friends, from other entrepreneurs. That sort of gives us the opportunity to build. The E-Center has been one of the best additions to UNH, in my opinion. You can be a, an excellent computer scientist and come here with an idea for a business and flourish just like anyone else. You don't need to be in the business school to get value out of this place. You really just need to have a drive and an idea. But when I'm sitting in here, it, it kind of makes me feel like I'm in a, a real office rather than sitting at my desk in my, uh, in my dorm. The layout of the whole uh, center is just extremely conducive to collaboration. I actually met my business partners at the e-center randomly. We were working individually and uh, we kind of just bumped into each other and started chatting. Max and Sam have an app they're developing called Drop It. They are into the second round and, and hopefully into the finals for the Holloway Prize. Some of my role is to help them frame their presentation, how do they do their PowerPoint, how do they do their financials. Simultaneously, it's also to continue to work with them to understand how do you start to build this idea into a true company. If we're successful and we start planting these seeds in students now, in five or ten years after graduation, they're going to have that aha idea. And what we want is for them to remember that some of the early seeds that we planted with them, and they're gonna be able to come back to us and we're gonna be able to help support them. And then when they come back, we have a new group of students who wanna learn about startups and this starts to mesh together. So in the big picture, that's the whole vision of what we're trying to build.